was one such girl who at the Jerusalem Fellowships program was very outspoken that she lived with her non-Jewish boyfriend, she was going to marry her non-Jewish boyfriend, and that there was no problem whatsoever with that. And she would mention this and speak out about this every opportunity she could at the Jerusalem Fellowship program. Program ends, a few years go by, and Dr. David Lukens and Eric Coopersmith, who were two of the educators and staff of the program, get a wedding invitation one day in the future. By the way, we have Dr. Lukens' niece over here. So, so Dr. Lukens and Eric Coopersmith get an invitation to a girl's wedding. And it was that girl who was so adamant that she was going to marry a non-Jew. But when they looked at it, it was clear from the invitation this was not a wedding of an intermarriage, that she had decided to marry a Jew. And the invitation was a very traditional-looking invitation to a wedding. So sure enough, Dr. Lukens and Rabbi Cooper Smith go to the wedding. And the wedding was a traditional Orthodox wedding with the chuppah and the two witnesses and the reading of the ksuva and everything. And the crowd was very mixed because it was people from all over this girl's life, the different time periods that she had been through and the evolution, the Jewish evolution that she had gone through. And both Dr. Lukens and Eric Cooper Smith noticed an older couple who were bawling throughout the whole ceremony, crying their eyes out throughout the whole chuppah. So after the chuppah, Dr. Lukens went up to the man and said, excuse me, sir, Shalom Aleichem, Dr. Lukens, why are you crying so much? Are you related to the, uh, are you related to the bride, to the groom? He said, let me tell you a story. He said, I'm a survivor of Auschwitz, survivor of the Holocaust, and I was the only one in my family who survived. And I came over to this country, and I only had one relative. Now, this relative had been on the soils of America for a long time, long since assimilated into the culture of America, and had given up a lot of the connection that the family once had to Judaism. Yet, she was always as nice as could be to me, and she took care of me. And even though as a young man I told her that I wanted to get a Jewish education, I wanted to go to yeshiva, even though it wasn't her value system, she supported me in my yeshiva education. But unfortunately, today, that lady has 14 grandchildren. 13 have all married out of the faith and have completely abandoned Judaism. And the girl standing under the chuppah today, she's number 14. When Rav Noach Weinberg heard this story, he said because of that alone, the whole Jerusalem Fellowships program was worth it. Because that girl was shown the value of her link in the chain. And even though the other 13 members of her generation had not seen any value of it and had thrown it off and had broken their connection, had broken their link in the chain, she said, this is important, him? saying to the man she loved, I cannot marry you, and going on to find a nice Jewish boy to raise a nice Jewish family and kids who are now have gone through Jewish day schools and are living meaningful Jewish lives, understanding that the purpose and the point of being a Jew is all about enjoying this world and enjoying the connection that the Almighty has given us to have with him.